We cannot confine God to within the walls. God is within the walls to be worshipped. God is beyond the walls to be worked. The thing that really strikes me about Pastor Murray is that he's like one of the old prophets from the Hebrew Bible. He has this interesting combination of urging his congregants to remember who they've said they are in terms of their faith and their ethical commitments. But at the same time, he's sort of a sharp critic of the world beyond the walls of the church and the injustices that can pervade the communities that the church serves and also sort of the hearts of the people who are part of the church itself. Pastor Murray had this saying, uh, see the people. So every Sunday before service, we would gather in his office for a briefing. If anyone came in his office, your job as a servant leader was to see to their needs, making sure that as servant leaders, we are serving other people. But that begins by seeing them. In 1977, I came to First DME Church, where I spent 27 years. It was a fruitful ministry in many ways. We grew from 250 members to 18,000 members. We reached out to empower those who were in underserved community, education, youth programs, re-entry programs, prison ministry, some 80 different ministries. He was there from 6 a.m. to 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock sometimes at night, literally sun up to sundown. Um, and he really was committed to serving his, the local church. Um, and if he wasn't at church in service, he was out doing ministry somewhere. Pastor Murray first rose to national prominence in 1992 when he was instrumental in helping to quell the civil unrest that followed the acquittal of LAPD officers who had been charged in connection with the beating of motorist Rodney King. When we look at the civil unrest of 1992, it was a testing point for our city, our state, our nation. But I thought it was a testing point of our faith-based system that was injustice. The Rodney King affair disclosed to America, to anyone who had eyes, look, there is a disparity in justice. Look, here is a helpless man being whipped by police power that's charged with protecting him. We had agreed on the night of the sentencing we would gather at First AME Church. There we would make certain that we would keep calm in the community. That night the mayor had just finished addressing the crowd when I was summoned outside and shown the fires on the horizon, the fires in the neighborhood. We called the fire department and we asked, would you please come? They said, we will come, but you must protect us from those young men who are throwing rocks and missiles. We said, we will definitely do that. The firemen came and 150 of us formed a line there off of Adams and Western Avenue. The young men kept throwing rocks, but our biggest challenge was the police who wanted to attack the young men. And we knew that that would only trigger recalcitrance. Here we must find a way to keep the peace, but they would not listen to us, but moved in lockstep towards the young men who were hiding behind houses and fences and from distance. So we decided we must take the initiative. We went around and got in front of the policemen and we were able to go and to plead with the young men and to push them and move them. And after about an hour or so, everything was cool. We are not proud that we set those fires. Yeah. But we'd like to make a distinction to America this morning. Huh. 
the difference between setting a fire and starting a fire. We set some of those fires, but we didn't start any of those fires. Those fires were started when some men of influence decided that this nation can indeed exist half slave and half free. In the wake of the LA civil unrest, Pastor Murray was the founder and executive director of the Fame Renaissance Center at First AME Church. My next task was to begin bringing in people who had been burned out we stayed open 24 hours a day for some six months. We were able to do business training, business loans. We were able to set up free legal clinics for those who were in trouble. We ultimately built 13 housing villages, housing a total of 2,000 tenants. It is the nature and culture of the black church to work for equity, fairness, justice in the people it serves. It can't just wait for the community to come to the church. It must take the church to the community. Pastor Murray served as my commissioner on the County of Los Angeles Oversight Commission related to jail violence. I said, this commission needs to have someone represent the second district who has moral authority, not simply legal authority. Somebody who has gone to the jails and visited individuals inside the jails from a pastoral perspective and, and counseled with family members, that kind of insight needed to be brought to bear. The year before Chip turned 75, he was asked to give the baccalaureate address at USC's graduation. The provost of the university was in the audience and the next year he called me and said, Don, do you think we could persuade Chip to join our faculty as an adjunct faculty member? That phone call launched the next 15 plus years of Chip's career as the Tansy Professor of Christian Ethics, where he continued to serve on many community boards, gave numerous lectures to students, and also inspired the Center for Religion and Civic Culture to redouble its efforts training clergy and lay people in community development. We started with the program Passing the Mantle, how senior ministers would work with up and coming ministers to pass on the legacy of service. Power corrupts ministers can become corrupted. The prosperity gospel is a good example how preachers were preaching, God wants you to be rich. God wants you to have it. And there he or she is with the biggest house, the biggest salary, the biggest car. And instead of going to the people to help the people, you are exalting yourself. So passing the mantle is making certain that we live up to the mission, which is to help the helpless, to lift the fallen. 2018, I preached a sermon entitled, A Faith Worth Imitating, um, and how Pastor Murray's faith is a faith worth imitating. He's a leader who lives out his faith in his ministry and in his personal life, and as a spiritual daughter, I looked at his work ethic as a pastor, his consistency, his commitment, and that's what I try to model my ministry after. Our city is a prime example of a nation of nations. So our doors must be open, our hands must be open to each other, our hearts must be open. Those are the challenges of the 21st century and of now. Chip Murray stood for integrity and for excellence, but perhaps most importantly, 
The Murray brand of Christianity affirmed the social gospel of societal transformation. 